Simply Listed. Simply Listed is a fully automated mock-up tool where you can create templates for your mock-ups one time and then it will be automated for you moving forward, making the mock-up process so much faster. If you don't already have Simply Listed, there is a seven day free trial down in the description. So for today's tutorial, we're gonna go over how to make woven blanket mock-ups. So this is after I had already created my template and I pulled the image over from Printify. I just wanted to show you guys how it kind of turned out and then I will show you how we did this. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is make sure you have your mock-ups. So I got the woven blanket mock-ups off of Etsy. I know a lot of people can get um, mock-ups off of Creative Fabrica, but I couldn't really find any that were good quality. So when you're looking for mock-ups, you want to make sure that they have shadows and they look realistic. And also with the woven blanket mock-ups, we want to make sure that we're getting smart mock-ups. So I went ahead and typed in smart mock-ups for woven blankets and I found this one. It's a bestseller on Etsy and it looks really good quality. If you guys are interested, it is a happy place where I, we got our mock-ups. Next, you want to make your Printify template. I went ahead and created the woven blanket template. And a couple thing, things that are important to remember when you're creating your template is that the size needs to be the same as your canvas size in Canva. So what I mean by that is this, they offer three different sizes. And so the 52 inch by 37 inch, it'll show right here, the print size area, 4992 by 3552. So I went and created a separate template that was exactly that size. Now, the first size, it'll let you um, create a, a Canva template, but the two sizes after that, it actually won't let you create design sizes that big. So you have to cut the design size in half. So what I mean by that is you wanna check here in Printify. So the 60 inch by 50 inch is bigger. So this one is 5760 by 4800 pixels. So you'd want to just divide that in half which came out to 2880 by 2400 and I created a completely sep separate design template in Canva that was half of that size like I said right here. When you go to download it you want to make sure that you scale your size back up. See, I, I had already done it, but when you go to download it, it's actually going to be the half size, which was the 2880 by 2400. So all you wanna do is just scale it up until you get back to that size, which was 5760. Let's see, and there. And then you would wanna download it as the correct size. Okay, and then just so I can show you what I mean, when you go to upload it, it should fit perfectly on your canvas. So when we go to upload it, it'll fit right in that box. If yours is coming out with it outside of the box, like the green isn't um, lining up, then that just means the design file isn't the correct size and you just want to check your size by going to the information button and doing what we just talked about. Checking your print size area, cutting it in half, and then um, downloading it after you've scaled it back up to this correct size. All right, and then you would just save your Printify template. You can either save it as a draft or you can publish it. One more thing we need to set up before we create our template in Simply Listed is um, downloading our mockups into a Canva template. And what it will look like when you download the smart mockups is it'll have this little cloud here and you actually wanna get rid of that. So I just click on the image here, I drag it to the side and then you can delete the little cloud image 
and now it saves it um, as a transparent background here. So the first way you want to download this is a JPEG file. So just like you would do your normal mockups, it's a JPEG. You would download them all together, and then we're going to um, upload that to Simply Listed. So let's go ahead and get started and create our template in Simply Listed. You want to start by clicking Listing Template, then you'll go to New Template. Make sure your Printify is connected, but then you'll click on Printify, and then you'll search for the product that we made in Printify, which was the woven blanket. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Link it. There we go. <laughs> okay, then you'll go ahead and click on your product, and you would click your print provider, which this one, there's only one option, but you want to make sure that whatever product you're doing, you have the correct print provider. Now, when it's asking for the size for the blanket, it really depends on the mock-ups that you got, but ours look closer to the 52 inch by 37 inch, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that size. Then you're going to upload your files. And these are the files that are saved as a JPEG. So you'll go ahead and open them all together, you'll click save, and this will pull them all into one template for you. So first thing you want to do is title your design. This is really just for you only so you know what template you have. This is the woven blanket. And I can't spell blanket today. <laughs> um, there we go. Now the first thing we're going to do is add our print area. So you're going to click print area and then you want it to line up with how it looks in real life. So see how this came out sideways? We want to rotate it so that it matches up. So then you're just going to size it up, try to make sure you cover the full white area and make it about the same size. That looks good to me. You kind of have to play around with it a little bit. And then you're going to make sure you lower your uh, transparency. Now keep in mind for woven blankets, I recommend bringing it down quite a bit because of the fabric. It does end up looking a little, little more dull in person. So I'm going to do it at 75. I found that to look more realistic. Next, you're going to do that for all of the slides. Then you're going to upload the same template as a PNG file. So we're going to go back to Canva and we're going to download this as a PNG file. And you want to make sure it has a transparent background and click download. Once you've downloaded them as a PNG file, you're going to go back to your simply listed template and then you're going to click image and add that PNG image on top. So you want to find the correct one, which is this one, and add to center. So what it's going to do is sandwich them together, but have the transparency show through so that the design still looks realistic. And it just takes a few seconds. And perfect. So like I said, this is what it would look like. There's a transparent background and then it clips right over it so that everything looks realistic. Now I wanted to show you guys how to do another mock-up that is a little bit more tricky. So this one, it's kind of wrinkled and folded over them and so not all of the design is going to show but that is okay. We can still do mock-ups like this. You're going to add the print area. And you want to rotate it because think about it, it's a, rectang a rectangle shape. So the blanket would actually go all the way up, but it's folded over them. So you can just rotate it this way. And then make sure you cover all of the white area. And like I said, you kind of have to play around with it. Uh, there we go. And I... Yep, rotated it and the transparency I'm going to put at 75 
And then same thing, just click on the background here, image, you're gonna upload that PNG file on top of it, add to center, and it'll sandwich it again. Perfect. So like I said, you would do that on all of your mockups. Once you're happy with it, you'll click save. And then we're going to test our template. So you want to go find the template that you were just working on. And then you're going to click test. Now when you're trying to find your product from Printify, it might not show up right away if you saved it as a draft. So if that's the case, all you need to do is manually sync with these buttons up here, and then it should pull it right over for you. Once it's synced, you can go ahead and click on it and test your mock-up. And this is what it'll look like. You can go through the slides and see how realistic it looks if you feel like you lined everything up correctly, but I think this looks great. Like I said on this one, you're only gonna see half the design because they have the other half folded over them, but I think this looks really nice and realistic. And same with this one, see how it's kind of folded over, but you still get the idea that the design is there. Looks very realistic. All right, and if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and publish it. So there's two ways you can publish. You will either just click on the actual template or you can click uh, attach artwork. And then same thing, your product should show up and you would select create mock-up. Once it creates it, it'll show up in your approval queue which ours did right here, where you can test it one more time, look through the slides, think it looks wonderful, and it also creates a video for you. So it will pull all of the photos in your um, template and it'll make a slideshow and it'll also post that over to Etsy for you. Now, if you didn't want a photo added in your slideshow, all you have to do is go back to your listing template and there's a way that you can tell it to ignore the video. So you would just edit and then whatever slide that you say you didn't want, like it was a photo card or just any photo that you didn't want, you're just gonna click on these three little dots, add page name, and you're gonna click or you're gonna type ignore video in all lowercase with no space. Update, and then you would save your template. And then that would ignore just that one um, slide and include the rest for you. If you wanted to add, say, a your own video, all you would have to do is click on Upload Video. Now that will replace the one that Simply Listed automatically does for you, so it's either one or the other. But once you upload the video that you like, it will be there and it will create it for you every time, just like the whole um, template is created for you and you're set for all the rest of your mock-ups. And it is very quick and easy. So I hope you loved this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, Go ahead and let us know down in the comments here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.